So can a long-term marriage survive multiple affairs? Yes. It can. And let me say that you are under no obligation to make this kind of relationship work. If you don't want to stay, if you don't want to keep trying to heal after multiple affairs, please know you don't have to. But if you do want to, then I'm here to support you and I want to encourage you to do whatever feels right to you. So how do you heal? How do you start to heal at this point? Well, you go through all the same affair recovery steps that we've talked about in other videos. You start by ending the affair. We have to increase transparency. There needs to be a come clean conversation where we get all the secrets out on the table and we promise that there are no more secrets. You create an affair timeline so that you know kind of everything that happened during the affair and you might need to do that multiple times for the multiple affairs. And I recognize that this is extraordinarily painful as you're doing this. So you may need to take lots of time to, to do this. Go as slowly as you need to go so that you can both be comfortable. And the most important thing is to get to the root of why your husband or partner had these affairs. Affairs are painkillers. So what kind of pain, what kind of deep emotional pain was he trying to treat by having these affairs? It's not always about deep emotional pain, but it's almost always about that. So we really, really want to dig deep and figure out, was there some trauma in the past? Was there, you know, a deep, uh, deeply held core belief that he had since childhood about being unlovable or unworthy? We need to do the work to fix those roots so that the affair doesn't happen again. I hope that helps you. Good luck to you guys.